Can you see everybody? Can you see everybody? Yep, it's they can filming? see you. It's oh, filming. Yeah. Come on, have a seat with Katie, <laughs> okay, straighten up. We're sitting crooked. All right, all right. you lamp is turning a little bit. There you go. There we go. Okay, everybody, that was an earthquake. Is it filming? It's filming. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't trip on it on your way back. That's right. Can you see everybody? You can see everybody. That was Samuel. Everybody. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, everybody, wait. Hi. It's usually not that time because what's your crazy growth spread a little bit ago? Like four years. Yeah, like four years. Oh, he did. He grew. Okay, welcome to this episode of Stunts Auto Body. Uh, talking about stuff. Talking about stuff. Normally, we just let Paul stand in front of the camera and rant. Paul does have a really neat fact about elephants that I found intriguing, though. Did you know elephants are the only mammal with four knees? Have you ever noticed that dogs and deer and horses? Have, she have front facing, every other man front knees, but then their back legs look like our elbows. Yeah, uh, that's why I was wondering, do the gorillas and, and certain chimpanzees have four elbows? No, no, uh, mo pretty much all primates have their back legs with knees, but then they're like people where their front. Did you, know that that, oh. did, did you know that that's how it came I did. My grandpa, who was Native American, seen I had a huge hole, hole and huge knees, and he oh, his big chief coke, honey. <laughs> <laughs> this is your story. Okay, today we're going to talk about, we're fixing to paint this Roadrunner, and I know in one video I said we're fixing to paint the Roadrunner, but this time we're really fixing to paint it. Samuel, can you go look in that camera one more time and make sure, because the way the camera's right. thing. But today, and Dad wasn't fibbing, we are getting closer and closer every time. Can you see me? Yeah. Right on. Yeah, every time we say we're about to, we get closer. Yeah. No, we're going to paint it in the morning. You Let's can see. come sit down and get Sammy. <sighs> there you go. See that? Oh, trip. that was awesome. No, today we want to talk about something really important. We know that we talk about cars. Matter of fact, uh, we judged a car show this weekend. Yes. Had a tremendous time. It was awesome. We want to thank the people at Mountain View. Uh, Rocky and his wife, uh, uh, Valerie, I think. Yeah, I hope I got that right. Anyway, good people, man. We we judged the car show up on the square, sock hop dance. Yeah, sock hop on the square. Sock hop on a square, and they invited us back next year. Yep, yep. Right. And also, apparently, some kid got his eye poked with the. Uh, uh, yeah, I thought was pretty funny. That no, was, he got his eye whacked by a hula hoop, so he grabbed it and broke it. Yeah, no, yeah, this girl whacked. No, the deal yeah. is, we were sitting there, they were and this, this older practice. lady come over. She was like, you broke my daughter's hula hoop, and then she said, she cannot hear why. Right. And he was like, oh, busted. But then we got him later, which is why we told him, always tell the whole truth. The entire Be good, truth. tell the whole truth. Because yeah. he kept trying to cover his butt. Come to find out, she whacked him in the eye with the hula hoop. Right? And he grabbed it, and she was Just let go, so they yanked it broke. and it broke. Huh. I was like, man, if you would have said, I would have said, like, why'd you break my granddaughter's hula hoop? And I'd have said, because your mean little turd granddaughter whacked me in the eye with it. Of course I did. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Stop yes. hitting me in the face. Yes, Doc. You need to control your granddaughter. Run around these feral children all over yeah. the place, biting people. That's why I yeah. propose we just stop it. Ban children, right? I've had people tell me that before you showed up. Ban all That's children awesome. from Haven't you spaces. had enough? And I was like, no. <laughs> okay, today I want to go on what what is probably going to be considered a political rant, but, but it, is it not. should not be a political issue. Right, it, it shouldn't be. And these are our genuine thoughts that come out of a place of concern. Genuine concern. Genuine concern. And genuine emotion. Yes. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to make a blank statement, and then I'm going to back it up. You mean blanket? A blanket. A blanket. Statement. Yeah, a blanket. Yeah. A blanket statement. Is that, is a blank statement. I'm if like, you're going to live here in the United States of America, you need to learn to speak English or freaking leave. If you do not want to speak the language, then be a tourist, 
take your pictures and go home. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Okay, and the thing is, that sounds incredibly racist right off the bat, but I don't care. There's, there's, there is reasoning as to why. Yeah, yeah, we would have a. For one thing, I have never met one American that wants to get dropped off into another country and stay there while refusing to not enable to learn the language, but refusing to I learn mean, the language. If you go to France and you speak fluent French but get the pronunciation wrong, they will get mad at you and they'll tell you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's you even know? if you're trying. Yeah, even I if you're I found out, trying. did you know though if you if you if you go to Germany or you meet a German, this is the deal about Germany. Yeah, they just they just think it's cool you're trying. They think it's cool you're trying. If you speak terrible German well well close. Yeah. And, and they, okay, like one time like I if met you speak the if you speak uh, German on the level of a second, second grader, grader, then they'll be like, that's super cool. You know how to speak German. You can have a conversation in German. I want to share a funny story. I was uh, junior. Our friend Junior was in the nursing home. He was, he was in the rehabilitation. And uh, me and my daughter went to go see Junior in the nursing home. And there was this old lady leaving. She was leaving. But she was like an old German war bride. You know? So she's very German, very German. And the accent cuts paper, you know, kind of, <laughs> you know. But uh, as we're leaving, she starts in with this old German accent. And I said, in Schultergunzi, meine Frau, sprechen sie Deutsch. And she just starts, yeah, yeah, yeah. She Rambling. starts rambling. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, meine, and I had already learned the lesson about the little German people. Right. So I said, Meine, meine German is the Lengsel. Connor and Zimmer speak in the Schnell. Uh, can meine, meine Deutsch is very uh, cool. Sehr. Like sprechen sie kaum Deutsch. Connor and Zimmer speak in Lengsel. So yeah, like I don't speak German very well. Could you say, talk slower? In Yorkshire. So she did, and I understood everything she said. She understood me. We carried on the conversation. I was tickled. And she goes to leave, and she said, I be, uh, she goes, how Wiedersen. And I said, how Wiedersen und haben sie gut nicht. She starts laughing. Uh, she's laughing her head off. And I'm thinking, what is she? goes, she says, you meant to say, haben sie gut nacht. 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 Have a good night. Nacht. I said, haben sie gut nicht, which is, means naked. Have a good time. Have a good time. Naked. And so she starts dancing around, twirling her skirt, going, Ooh la la! <laughs> so, like it was oh, awesome. Gosh. But here's the reason I make this blanket minutes. statement. I had to go to Batesville the other day. Now this is why. This is what angers me, and I'm going to specifically bring out a group of people. Oh. Mm -hmm. I am. But a lot of Mexicans come here and refuse to learn English. Yeah. And if you yeah. tell them to learn English, you are the bigoted, racist, right. white. Guy. Hey, you yeah. need to learn English. I was sick and tired of somebody you. saying you white guy like it's an insult. I'm a white guy. I'm proud of it. I'm straight. See these kids? I can prove I'm straight. I am proud to be a straight white man. I'm proud to be a straight white man. Right. Now, I've some of my favorite people on, and I'm not going to go, I got a black friend. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not going to do this. Some of my people I follow on YouTube, they're black people, and they're proud to be black people, and I'm proud for them. Their culture yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. As, if, no, if no, some, no, their culture's not. Their history yeah. is. Some people, if some people can't be proud of who they are, nobody can be proud of who they are. Right. Exactly. But if you're going to be, everyone if you're going to be so proud, if you're going to be so proud of who you are and where you are, that you simply refuse to adapt to a new surrounding that you put yourself in, you yeah. are like if you're not a victim of circumstance and yeah. you're just so proud of who you are that you refuse to change, yeah. then that is that isn't being proud, that's that is, being prideful. It's being prideful, which problematic. Is problematic. Now here's the story on the reason why I wanted to have this conversation. And I didn't want to make it as short because I wanted to tell the story. I'm coming back from Batesville the other day and I come up around the hill, I'm going up the hill around the corner, and there's a car sitting in the middle of the road. And there's a car. There's a car sitting in the middle of the road. And there's these two young Hispanic men with the hood open. Right? Emergency flashers and the hood open. The problem is, 
if you would have met somebody, you would have been in a dire strait, right? So I go into the ditch and I go back and I say, Can I help you? And they're speaking Spanish with that stupid <laughs> thing. Like that, like nothing's wrong. Like nothing's wrong. Kind of like yeah. if you're talking, like if it so, was some pothead, like, man, yeah. why are you so pretty So I man? say, you need you need to back up. You need to back out of the highway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jibber, 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 jibber. Now, okay, I understand. Here's the thing. I understand that almost every non-American is bilingual. And I also understand people like, well, you need to learn to speak Spanish. And I was born in Texas, and I live in Arkansas. I got no freaking reason to learn to speak any language other than this. Right. I want to be linguistic. I want to be articulate. I want to be. I want to have a. I want to have a flowery vocabulary, but I want it to be English. Yeah, but yeah. there's no reason. I have no reason. In our surroundings. Now, if I yeah. was in Cuba. Or I was in Puerto Rico. Of course. And if I was in Mexico. Yeah, if I move. If I move. If I move, move. To Mexico. To a freaking other country. If I moved to Brazil, I would spend the first few years, years. before I went learning, learning the, the language. language. Yes. Oh, if I moved to, if I moved to the Congo, I'd learn to, with the best yeah. of them. Yeah. Right? I would. Yeah, if, but I would know, learn to speak clicks and calls? whistles. Anyway, what so the. the these dudes are in the road, and I'm trying to get them to back up, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to get them back up. And they're like, they couldn't even say, we don't speak English. Yeah. And I said, no, I'm not English. I said, get in car. You get in the car, put it in neutral, and I will push you backwards out of the highway. Now, if I was in the Congo, and somebody went, Pick, pick. <laughs> yeah. Crap, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's my, the universal language should be you, you thing, me, push, you, you steer. You those are concepts thing. that everybody understands. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, anyway, so this there's, is there's how a whole game based but, on the fact that people can figure that out called charades. Right. But yeah. here's how this is why it was so bad. They're not understanding me. This is what I got mad about. Have you ever read the sign don't flush tampons down the toilet? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Prohibit the tampons in dos panels. Yeah. I can't speak freaking Spanish for nothing. But I can tell. I can tell. Some, it, says, it says, no tampon in. Banos. Yeah. I, you don't even have to know that banos, banos is, is the Spanish word for toilet. toilet. Just, just don't put your tampon in the thing under the sign. No, some word I don't know. Tampon in, some word I don't know. No, no tampon in. The thing above the sign, right? Yeah. Under the sign. Anyway, so... I'm sitting there telling them, and, and I do. I, I scared the dude. I scared the kid. Because we were being so aggressive. I was being an angry white man, I guess. The dude's in there, hi, 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 talking, not English. Okay, am I mocking his language? Yes, I am, because it was worthless as tits on a poor hog at that time. And I said, you're going to get hit. Oh. <laughs> From behind. You know what he heard me say? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and chop your body up over there. <laughs> That's what he... Dude panicked on me. You're dead. Right? <laughs> and your family. Was so anyway, the other guy, the other guy, he said there, jibber, 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 jibber in the phone. And he hands me the phone and the guy goes, what's up, man? And I said, hey. Their and bilingual it, friend. Their bilingual friend. Or family member. Or family yeah. member or whatever. <laughs> their their mm -hmm. white friend or whatever. I don't. Anyway, so this dude's like, what's up? I said, dude, man, look. And he goes, well, man, they got a hole in the clock. And I looked down, and sure enough, behind the other builder, you can see the crank. Uh -oh. There was no starting this car. Right. right. There was a hole the size of a softball in the, in the front of the engine. <laughs> Dang, dude, okay, so I looked in there and I thought, yep, oh yeah, this motor's screwed. And the, you know what my very first thought was? What? I didn't know Nissans could die. Oh man, it I mean, even Nissan? Nissan, it was. I'm like, 
That's so sad. That's what did Nissan they do to that car? Really I'll years old. The, and I'll bet they're going 200 mile an hour up that hill. <laughs> Nissan's don't blow up. No. Only American cars do. Yeah, I, anyway, bet they, I bet they had that car for 100, 100 years. years. So anyway, he he's, I said, man, look, grand there's grand a hole in the block. I said, but your friends are parked in the middle of the highway on a blind corner up a hill. And there's some people coming up. This I said, they're going to get run over. I keep trying to tell him to get in the car, put it in neutral, and I'll push him backwards out of the road. I was trying to be the good Samaritan. See, right. that's a foreign word, not what it meant. So anyway, so he goes, let me talk to him on the phone. Now, this is funny. This dude, this cat's on speakerphone. Do you know what the Spanish word for neutral is? Neutral. Neutral. Oh, my gosh. I sit there and freaking and understood. Listen to I listened to the conversation. The car, car in neutral, neutral and let it push, push you backwards. I understood. I could understand what the guy on the phone. I already knew. But here's one thing that made me so angry. In order for the Spanish words and our English words to be that parallel that I could understand, like don't flush your tampon down the toilet. I could understand what the guy was saying. That means that those two 20-something-year-old Mexican kids had spent absolutely zero time trying to trying understand the language of, of the, the country, country they, they live in. in. They were a danger threat to everybody coming up that hill and everybody coming down the hill. They were a dangerous threat because their arrogance and pride refused them to even try to learn to speak English. Right. If I would have been the president of the United States of America, I would have called ICE to come and got them. And they could have called their mama from Chihuahua, Mexico, and told her where they were. For, I mean, I, I did, man. They don't need to be here in this country. Right. They're a danger. And they, I'm not yeah. saying they're rapists. I'm not saying they're drug dealers. I'm not saying any of but that. But a breakdown in communication. I'm saying no, their pride is... It, it's, it's, it is very dangerous. You a know? breakdown I mean, like if, in if some guy was in, like, some guy just moved to Japan on a whim and didn't learn how to speak a and, lick of J Japanese and refused to learn and refused to learn and he didn't go to any of like the tourist areas where everyone learns it so that they'll be able to talk with the tourists he just goes to some rural city and then all of a sudden there's like uh, some emergency and everyone's trying to communicate with each other and all of a sudden this guy run, this Japanese oh, wow. dude like this Japanese dude runs up to him and says hey man you've got to start running we're about to die and he's just like, yes. I don't know what those words mean. Let me consult my. Let me call my cousin that yeah. can speak let Japanese. Me, let me call my bilingual. Friend. It's the thing is okay. We're not. We're not saying it out of malice. It is a I, breakdown I, 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 in. I'm, I'm slightly. Well, no, angry. I'm angry. Yes, yes. <laughs> the thing is, no malice. No, no, no a hatred. breakdown in communication is bad in any given emergency situation. Even if it's a small emergency that's only going to result in three people dying in a horrific car wreck. And here's the thing. We're not saying that... Hold on, let me finish. The thing is, the reason if you are going to live in the United States, the reason you need to learn English is because one day you will be in an emergency situation or almost an emergency situation, right? Yep. You can prevent an emergency from happen happening by being able to communicate with the people around you. If you cannot communicate with the people around you, bad situations will turn into emergencies. Emergencies will turn into catastrophes. Catastrophes will turn into... Fatal giant, ca giant, uh, giant Joe Biden, Biden becoming president. Or, I was, <laughs> I was gonna say like the front, oh, hey, wait, front page wait. of the newspaper or something. Well, yeah, I got a, I got a message on one of our videos the other day. This one, uh, and I looked at she was talking, but anyway, she decided not to, not to click back to the problem because I said something. Joe Biden. Nah. So hold on, let's have a moment of silence. Cool. Not really. What are you talking? We don't want them. We don't want them. Dear God, please be with this woman. Well. Dear God, no, please uh, strike her down with light. No, no, no. The no, deal no, is, no, no. okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. That was a joke. The thing is, uh, uh, um, it's not. Taste. It's not that we, and it isn't like a if you if you don't know the language, get out. You know, 
Because, like, there are refugees, like, you know that uh, breakdancing dad? Yeah, his, his wife's family came in from Loatia. No, Laos. Laos. A Loatian family came in from Laos yep. because it was a communist regime, yep. and they yes. escaped it. But they showed up and, and instantly and started. Started. And learning and instantly started learning the language. They instantly well, adapted to the thing. No, I'm going to say this: of circumstance, you're not going to be the best at it. Yeah, like, but you're going to do your best to adapt you're to do the country best. you're going to. No, here's the deal: if you come here and your family comes here, and all of a sudden you got like 86 year old Croatian grandma, mm -hmm. or Grecian, or Mexican, I don't care where you're from. If you bring your 80 something year old grandma. Don't expect her to learn. No, I mean, but also, don't give her a driver's license and let her drive around because yeah. she's going to get lost and nobody's going no to, be be able able to be able to help her. Instructions. Yes. Yeah. See, I want to know how these two young men got a driver's license. They were driving. Yeah. Who did they talk to? How did they get a driver? Well, they went to their the, Mexican this friend problem. in the DMV. Yeah, their Mexican friend. Uh, if you speak Spanish, come over here. Yeah. See, that's the problem with America. The they speakers. need to stop this whole bull crap. For English, press one. But hardly how about I press dos. Right. And they need the, to stop that crap. How about for English press? How about just speak English? Yeah. And then if you want to, if you want to be an active member, you better learn to speak English. Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, right. for that, it's it's not so much a way for people to get around speaking English. It's just that uh, it's like they're people are more comfortable or more easily able to. Yeah. Like, you know how you tried talking to that German lady and she started talking circles around you? Like, some people are good enough at English to have a conversation with Just someone in slowly. person, right. but not over the phone to a no, 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 official I've never capacity. Somebody, oh, yeah. Exactly. So, so that's what those are for. That's but, I have trouble for talk, but I have trouble talking to Yankees up north in English because they talk to me. They speak a different language, on though. The phone. I've, I've asked people, can you slow down? Yeah. I'm a hillbilly. Yeah. Right. I hate talking on the phone. Yeah. The thing is, here's the thing. No, but no. Uh, my point was, uh, it's like we, nobody, except for like genuinely incredibly racist people, uh, it's not so much a matter of, I hate people who are different, don't come to this country if you don't know how to speak English. It's no. a, uh, it's more of a, like, holding other people to the standard I would hold myself. I wouldn't go to Germany if I didn't know how to speak German. I wouldn't go to Japan if I didn't know how to speak Japanese. I would want to be at least conversational in the native language. You're, you're talking outside of a tourist capacity. Yeah. 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 Conversational outside of asking for directions. Everything we're you know? saying, right, is not trashing on where it's not, you come from. It's not trashing on oh, specific to oh, I actually I love other Guys, let me finish. Well, here's the thing. We're not trashing on the places anyway. you come from. We just expect if you're going to be, if you're going to come here and live here permanently in our culture, you have to be able to interact with it in the case. Because, you know, there is going to be emergencies. There is going to be a point where two people have to talk to each other. And it happened. There was a breakdown in communication. Can I make a point? And sure. Another thing is the biggest argument against this ar this argument we're making right now is that it. And I've I've seen people say online it's like it's like trying to erase a culture. It's not cultural erasure. If it was cultural erasure. I would have gotten a gang of a million people together and wiped Mexico off the face of the planet and replaced it with the 51st state of the United States. Yeah, but here, I'm going to go back to this, you know? too. People say it's cultural erasure, and I understand that because I want to learn to speak German because my grandfather was German. Yeah. yeah. It's his, but the little bit is, is, you know, my grandfather did not allow his kids to learn to speak German. Really? Right. Yeah. You know why? Because they, they were not in Germany. Yeah. yeah. You know how much German culture my mom and dad needed, my uncles and my aunts, you know what they eat? None. They didn't need they need to eat talk stuff like how to make sauerkraut. Right. Yeah, I don't think but they, was, but they used in American jars, bought yeah, off from an American that's company. That's because that was in a point where they had just moved to America yep. and they were the family was in survival mode, right? And people don't seem to realize the ability to move someplace and keep your own culture is a commodity yep. brought forth by modern society and stability. Yep. Right. So the ability 
to go to any nation in the world, no matter what color your skin is, and not have to adapt to their culture to survive is a privilege, and nobody realizes that. Yeah, it's not a right. It's you not don't a, have right. a right. No, it's 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 actually a privilege. Yeah. And the fact that people are allowed to do it, they should be honored to live in a period in human history where not every oh, no. Mexican okay. that comes across the border is forced. To okay. Also, like with that, and and I like okay, and I'm going to go ahead and go here. And, and and I don't want you know if if I say this and you don't feel comfortable with it, y'all say it, tell me, and we won't upload this, right? Okay. But we was in Little Rock here a while back, and we come around a corner, and we were in another neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. And there was all this stuff painted up, like with African print this and African print that, and it had all these African people painted up in African attire, and it said, "Right." And I think I just want Rwanda. <laughs> what? One will make this our home again? Right. So that's a get... colonization threat. Yes, it is. That's a, but that's here's not the deal. Even Do you, like know a... what, you know what the Africans did to the Africans in Rwanda? Okay, they banned robbers. So China dumped off 10 million machetes. Yeah, China Lord of the Flies the place. China yeah. Lord of the Flies the place, man. They did. And you had one race of people decided they chopping the their one. own race up with machetes and i'm thinking why would you want that here in america you can be different in respect yeah melting pot no i, 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 I was that, that was what that was why america I was, was about that. to bring that up i saw people online saying that the term melting pot was problematic because Screw it removes the individuality of the culture. Screw them. And I'm like, okay, here's the thing. If you make a building, I don't want to remove the individuality of the water. I don't remove, want to remove the individuality of the gravel. And I don't want to remove the individuality of the rock powder. So I'm going to make my foundation by squaring them off. I'm going to pour the water here and the gravel there <laughs> and the rock powder right here, here and there. There's my foundation. You know, man. You know what you have? No. Three parts of concrete that are separated, not. doing nothing for well, each other. Well, you have water right. that runs off, rocks that get scattered, and the powder that blows away, and you have nothing. Right. And I remember when I got my CDL, the first trip I ever went on, I had never been out of Sharp County, Arkansas, right? Right. I mean, I was born in Texas, <coughs> and my mom moved up here when I was two months old. Left right. my dad. I did leave my dad, but my dad was on the Army base in Texas. Mom yes. up here. So I didn't even know what road signs were. I knew what the ones I had to know to get my driver's license, like stop and yield and stuff. Right? Yeah. But so uh, they put me on a truck and they drove, sent me to New Hampshire. Huh. I drove all the way to the northeast of America and got lost. <laughs> uh, but one thing I loved about this, as I got into New Hampshire, I realized everything was different. Yeah. Everything was different. The houses were different. The structures was different. The architecture was different. And I had just been here my whole life. You know, man, I was raised on Jim Walter architecture, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, and, and, and old just plantation houses, right? Mm -hmm. And I got up there and, and that Dutch architecture, the Dutch architecture is stunning. It's beautiful. Yeah. And when I got lost, I noticed that everything looked different. Everything was culturally different. But I got out and walked up to a guy and asked him, can you tell me how to find interstate law law? And he spoke back to me in English. Yep. Okay, hang on to your culture. I don't care. Yeah. If you want to keep dressing like you're from the Congo, or, or if you want to dress like you're from Chihuahua or wherever, Jamaica, or if I don't care, but speak English. Yeah. If you're going to be here, be able to communicate with other people. Yeah, you have to be able to Keep communicate. your culture, contribute to society. Yeah. Keep your culture and contribute. Keep your culture and contribute. That's the thing. Everybody is like, everyone's wanting to do rock soup without putting anything in. 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 Everyone's wanting to do rock soup. You know, you're but like, they're holding on to their stuff. It's like, oh, you're oh that rock soup is going to be really, really good. When I get my portion, I'm going to put these green onions in. Yeah, when I get my portion, I'm going to put in carrots. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, anyway, like I said, guys, th I know this is different, and I'm, we're going to go ahead and bring this to an end because we're starting to repeat ourselves. Yeah. But yeah, if you're going to live here. Because it's kind of cut and dry issue. But yeah, it is too. Well, if you're going right. to live here, freaking speak English or yep. go home. Yep. Right. Be a tourist. If you're going to come here and stay, 
speak English. Yep. Yeah. It's if just, you're going to go to a country and stay, speak the language. Yeah. Yep. It's and it's not even a speak English because I don't want to. And if you think that's like, racist, then you're an idiot. Yeah, if you think yeah. it's racist, then any just, country is going to expect you just to speak swap, their language if you go there. Just swap America and Mexicans with any other country and white people. I tell you what, if you drop me off in the it, off in like Africa, mm. I don't want to know what their word. I, I want to know what their word for lion is. Yeah, I want so to. Some comes running past me screaming that word, I will not I'm not so gonna long. say what? Ah! You know, yeah. Just, yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. be the first one dead in a horror movie. Right. Right. About lions. Yep. Exactly. And that's like oh, I, that one with Eat Your Selva. Yeah. That one with Eat Your Selva fought a lion with a bare hands. No, she fought a whole bunch of lions with a bunch of Yeah, dude. Eat Your Selva's crazy. Man, that Eat Your Selva's crazy. I, I can't believe what, that was man, real. He's like a black Dwayne Johnson. I think he's real. I think it's cool. Yeah. He's definitely more attractive than Blue. This yeah, just in, like, Idris like Elba is a lot cooler than uh, yeah, he just held his The Rock. Cool. Idris Elba is cooler than Dwayne Johnson, and he's a lot sexier. Ice cubes are cooler than Dwayne Johnson. And I don't find men sexy. Sand is cooler sand. than Dwayne yeah. Johnson. I don't like that. It's a non organic solid with the crystalline uh, construct. Did you know that if you get water frozen to 300 degrees below zero, it separates into hydrogen and hydrogen and oxygen sheets, laminating itself with a magnetic capability? You can pick it up with a magnet. I didn't know that. That's crazy. You made that up. No, I didn't. No, no you no, can I take just... a piece of ice if it's cold enough, and you can take a magnet and just it'll hover over. That's cool. That's I, I was going to say that water is technically a lava. Yeah, it's a melted mineral. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, hey, thank you for joining us. We know this is a little bit different. Doesn't have anything to do with cars at all. But this is just, man. God we bless America. We did talk about. Cars. We did talk about the car. We're God gonna bless America. But God, God bless, bless America. everyone. Well, God bless every night, and God bless everyone. everyone. But man, if you God bless America, man, this is uh-huh. the greatest country on the face of the planet. Yeah. It, 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 look, everybody comes here because it's. Yeah, it's like it's like no it, 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 coming here. everyone arguing that America sucks while living in America is making the active decision to not go to two other countries. Yes, if you think that you America. can just go to. Like, I'll keep it. Hey, I went to Mexico one time. Do you know what I had to do? What? Walk Why? down the bridge. Walk down the street over the bridge. Yeah. And I found myself in Mexico where I found out something in Mexico. Everybody in Mexico speaks English. Oh. Okay, and the they thing. all want you to get in their car. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I have, like, I don't have a ton of, re- I don't have respect for all those people that were trying to deny that Trump won the election. Uh, and they, I don't remember if it was 18 or 16. But yeah, when 16. Trump when Trump won the election and became president, and everyone was denying it because it was, oh, it was Russian collusion, ah, oh, it was botted votes, whatever. Um, but there is one guy I did kind of respect him because he was telling everyone, if Trump wins, I'm moving to Canada. And, and you know what he did the day the the uh, results they came in? He moved to Canada. Well, God bless him. He God bless be, him. Yeah. Good for him. Canada. And here's another you know what? thing. He I, 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 I want to end with this. Why the crap do people listen to Green Day? Yeah. Yeah. Green Day. Green Day. Everybody like. You have a bunch of socialist little twerps singing songs about how American capitalism is evil, coming to, to America, America to touring, profit, using awful. our capitalist system yes. to get rich. And you have all these Americans uh, said, oh, not, don't argue with that. How would they no, buy their diamond studded gold sweatshirts? How would they live in a socialist state? How yeah. would they be able to afford their mansion if they didn't spread the good word of socialism? Right. <laughs> but I will say, they are not as bad as Rage Against the Machine. Because here's the thing. Green Day found out they could get successful if they trashed on American capitalism and stuck with it. Rage Against the Machine's entire gimmick, their gimmick the whole time, was to sell socialism. And they made millions. That's, That's what fair. Green Day did. Well, yeah, but Green Day... It didn't start Green Day were Green Day were opportunists and entrepreneurs. Like raccoons. They're socialists. No, I don't like oh, yes. me. I don't yeah, like they're, 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 they're And here's what here's why Green Day is more dangerous. Because you can't really understand what Rage Against the Machine is saying. 
That's fair. Uh, yeah. Rage Against the Machine. What? That's the thing. Rage Against the Machine, those guys are just pretentious twerps. Like, they got a live performance on uh, SNL, and the deal was, it's like, okay, you can play before the guy starts talking. It was the, the late night show. You can play before he starts talking. Just don't play this song, and don't do any swear words. So they started the show off with that song, adding more swears to the lyrics than the actual version of it. And they're like, yeah, we showed them. We broke the rules and got in trouble for it. Oh! That doesn't look, that's no. not, no. You just, you just basically Man, proved, can I, tell you I can't follow rules for five minutes. Here's, that, that, yep. that's, a, that's a cross the board On problem. national Listen, television. I, I, I used to be a part of, well, I still am if I get invited, but it was this thing called the Relay Revivals where a bunch of preachers yeah, would get together yeah. and, and you had 20 minutes to preach. And the reason is, is it lasted all day because I had so many preachers. So, yeah. so you had 20 minutes. I watched a lot of people spend 15 minutes talking about how you can't shut up the Holy Spirit. Woo! When I get to preaching, woo! I'm going to preach as long as God tells me to. And they wasted all their time talking about how they were going to go over 20 minutes. And then they had a 10-minute sermon. Right. Yeah. Right? When they could have just preached twice as long yeah, they hadn't and their somewhere. time frame they were allotted. It's right. like it's like going to a and then uh, and then and, and that's funny. I was actually at the, I went to one of those with them. <laughs> they don't let you go over twenty minutes. They have a sign. They have oh, a sign. Oh. There's like t- five minutes left. But I was but three people, minutes left. But people went past the sign. People did. They'd be sitting there waving the sign. And people did. It's like going to a to a Pink Floyd concert and they just play the opening and then you realize the song <laughs> and then you realize that's the song. That was a three hour long that was song. The song. That was, uh, that was the... Hey, thank you for thank joining you for us. Watching. Uh, we know that, okay, we said this a while ago. We know this content is a little bit different than normal. We didn't talk about cars so much. We didn't talk about mechanics, but, but this is something that I'm very passionate about. If Leave you a comment. Didn't if you like it, if you tell disagree, us. okay, yeah. If you disagree, tell us. We uh, discuss it. But is, if you do agree, tell us. It is open for discussion. I like hearing opposing. Uh, and here's views. The, I know a lot of times it's hard to have an opposing view and to have a conversation with someone. It starts out by saying, "If you disagree with me, I apologize." Yeah, yeah that's I across that way because but we're not going to film it over. But uh, so here's the thing: if 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 you think there's a reason why somebody should be able to live in America without being able to communicate with anybody outside of their itty bitty tiny circle, yeah. even though they're out in the real world with or, everybody else, or any country, or any, 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 country, any country, then then feel free to explain. Uh, yeah. Is it is a discussion? It is we a, just think that it's a logical fallacy, and we're probably not going to agree with. You. Probably not going to change our mind, even. But uh, but I like to see the other angle. I, I do. It's always good to get I both do. sides. I like to see the other angle. And how many times have you ever seen me go, hmm, well, yeah, man, I was wrong. Yeah, and that's yeah. the thing. Changing our mind is entirely possible. Yeah. But it's, it's, my mind if you could tell me why it would make sense for somebody to be sitting in the middle of the road on a blind hill and not being able to understand somebody saying, you need to move before you kill a van load of innocent people. Yeah. yeah right? I'm, I'm willing right. to listen. I'm willing to listen. He, again, not very likely. <laughs> not very likely. Possible. 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 It like, is possible. That, it's possible that, that you could have a string come out of your butt and keep pulling on it. There'd be a golf ball on the other end. Are you? No. No. Shut up. No, I mean, <laughs> with that being said, I mean, thank you guys for thank watching. Thank you for joining. You've been a lovely audience. Everybody. Say, click uh, like, click, click like, like, and subscribe, and click like, and subscribe, and click like, and subscribe, and click like. This guy owes me a soda. And share, and click like, and subscribe. Read your Bible. Jesus loves you. Read your Bible. Share. Jesus loves <laughs> like you. And, and like, and subscribe. Trying to-